So the podcast is called America's Moms. And when I was invited to host one of the episodes, I knew right away that the show I wanted to talk about was One Day at a Time. Because growing up, I'm Mexican-American, raised by a single Mexican mom in Los Angeles. For many years, I thought that what I was really, really looking for on television and in the movies was to see myself. What I didn't realize until I saw this iteration of One Day at a Time is how much I needed to see my mother on camera. Mm. I have never seen mm. my mother represented on English language television in a way that really resonated with me. And I literally became emotional when Rita Moreno opened those curtains and made an entrance. Right away, I said to my daughters, <gasps> That's my ama. That's my ama. And my mom is Mexican. She is not Cuban, but she is larger than life. She does not walk into rooms. She enters them. Yes. And and Rita's character, Lydia, has all the like sensuality and sexuality that my mother is still very much in touch with. And people seem to leave out of certain age characters. So can you tell me a little bit about how Penelope and Lydia and their relationship came to life. Yeah. So Penelope is me and Lydia is really a mix of my mother and my grandmother. My my actual grandmother is named Lydia Rieta. That was her name. So it was an, a wonderful homage Aww. to her that uh, that we have. Uh, we have her name. My mom is Gloria. I'm Glorita in my house. <laughs> I'm little. I'm the junior. I'm Gloria Jr. My mother is y'all. It's quarantine. We have not seen other humans for 219 <laughs> days. My mother has a kitten heel and a lip gloss every day. Mm -hmm. OK, for, to, for us, I, I mean, she's just an old school. And my father, it's it's just my mother and father are really archetypes of what I think people think of when they think man, woman, mm -hmm. like really old school man, woman, because my mother walks into a room and my father still is like, look at the most beautiful <laughs> woman in the world walking into this room. Like he literally uh, they are a show. I feel like sometimes when we are younger, we don't understand where our parents are coming from. And sometimes it takes becoming a parent ourselves to see that the motivation might not be what we thought it was. Lydia is trying to impart knowledge and history to Penelope. And sometimes Penelope feels like that's just a criticism of who she is that she's not being accepted for the wonderful, strong woman that she is. They have this beautiful moment on the sofa where Penelope gets insight that it's not a one-way street. I am not trying to hurt your feelings, pero if you want me to accept you for being you, you have to accept me for being me. So talk to me about that. Why? Why'd you put it in there? How? Well, I think like that I think what I what we really try to do on the show is these are people that love each other. They're they're trying to consistently build bridges towards an, one another, even as they're facing a world that is pulling them apart. And I think that's really a metaphor for this country, too. Yeah. I think that there's so many divides and often the divides are misunderstanding. And uh, this is this is an episode where it's also her mother driving her crazy by asking more of her. But the ask is really about spending time with her. Yeah. And it's understanding as as an adult, what is the what's the message behind the message? What is you know, we have to really sit and think of why people are communicating about things in the way that they are and how do we decode that to find a way towards one another. 